she was one of them that had a lot of really impressive offensive splits. Runners in scoring position was an area as a team that was not as strong. What was kind of a takeaway there for you as far as why that just was the case this past weekend? Um, I, th I think at times during the weekend we did a great job of cashing in, and then I think at times where we had a couple times with bases loaded or runners at second and third where I wanted to see that happen a little bit more, but for the most part, just put that many runs on the board first weekend. This is a young group, um, or I don't even want to say young group, but just maybe, you know, first weekend out, I thought they handled it pretty well. Shea certainly well, was another one who had really impressive numbers being with runners on and two outs, and I think she was in like 500 under those situations. That's that's impressive. I know she's a returning player, but still, that's, um, that's impressive for a weekend. I thought Shea did a really good job leading by example, leading vocally. Um, when she had opportunity to cash in, I think she took advantage of that as well. So I was very proud of Shea and just overall how she handled herself and handled the team. I thought she did a really good job with that. With Jazz back, is she now a full-time catcher? Or? Um, one thing I think you'll see, I think you'll still see Shay in April working back and forth. April can also work at first, but um, I thought she looked, she did great at second. I thought she also handled behind the plate well. How did the, the two pitchers handle their new roles? Is you're gonna have to lean on them, obviously. Sure, we're we're going to, and they understand that. And I think if you think about it, going into the weekend, I'm sure this team felt a little pressure, a little mm -hmm. jitters. But I would think the two that felt it more than anyone else were the pitchers. And um, <clears throat> again, I, you know, we gave up some runs, but what I walk away from the weekend knowing is that we were plenty of times that we were in jams. And to me, that's where you really get to see something from an athlete. Um, watching them get out of that jam was big. Any concern with Maddie with the walks or just because it's first weekend and it's kind of cold some mornings, do you write it off or does the number of walks get to be just too big? No, I think she'll cut that down. I mean, obviously, I'd, I, I, we don't want to walk. I'd rather put the ball over the plate and take our chances than give the other team momentum uh, with walks. But I think that's something that will get cleaned up. Jordan, well, both of them didn't have a lot of starts before. She had very few times where she had to go through an order a third time before Vatek. A lot of the damage against her came that third time out, and clearly they were sitting on the, the curve of the change. What do you have to try to adjust with an inexperienced pitcher at this level to when it comes to that second and third time around to change some things around? Yeah, I, I think with them it's just experience. I think they got to learn a lot from this weekend, and they'll go into this next weekend with that experience. Um, we watched a lot of video, so it gives them an opportunity to see things that they need to adjust. Um, I, I don't get so caught up, and it's like that third time around, I get more caught up in looking at, you know, are they working ahead? What did their pitch sequence look like? Are we putting the hitter on time? Are we putting the hitter in a position with a great count? Um, those are the things that I look at more, and I think when they make those adjustments that it, you'll see some differences. Last weekend was about settling in. What, what was this weekend about for your team? This weekend is taking what we learned um, from the opener and, and taking it with us to Florida. So they got an opportunity to get their feet wet and um, put in some tough situations. I liked how they handled it, and so from there I just want them to take week one and week two. Let's clean up a couple things to practice today and, and go from there. What do you expect the atmosphere and competition to be like? Good, really good. It's a great tournament. Every team there is a big time team. Um, I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do. And I know they're excited to get there as well. You have a chance to see any of Sincere yet? I'm sorry. You have it? a chance any to see of LSU and Sincere yet? Um, yeah, I've gotten to watch some video on all of our opponents. So They return, obviously, like their top five hitters, and now she's launching the ball over and over again and also throwing back-to-back -back shutouts to start the season. That's mm -hmm. not too many teams out there can lose a ball Jasper and Hoover and then have mm -hmm. that come right in. I mean, you're certainly familiar with that yourself. Arguably, this is the first game you're facing two, potentially two All-Americans on that very first day with her and if making good is who JMU has. How do you try to navigate an inexperienced lineup with that kind of challenge? Yeah. I think with that, we don't get caught up in all of that. We're, I mean, we know what we're getting into. To me, it's the, this team getting caught up into our game plans and understanding how to pass the bat and for each one really understanding what their role is and, and to work hard at their role. Um, I think it's the preparation. If we come in and we're prepared, then that'll allow us to um, 
do some things that we want and if we you know this is a game of adjustments and if we need to make an adjustment I think this team can do that how big is this tournament just overall for the game of softball? You know, obviously ESPN does a great job with regionals, super regionals, Oklahoma City, but is getting getting regular, more regular season games, is that kind of the next step on a national level, uh, get the eyeballs towards softball? Yeah, I think when you look at softball back in the day, um, opening weekend, there's you don't have games on opening weekend. And then looking going into the second weekend, same thing. And I would say maybe over these last five, maybe six years, all of a sudden softball showing up in the month of February. And so I think that shows on a national level where our sport is and where it's going and, and that people want, our fans want to see softball in the month of February. What was the plane ride home like? Was, was it important with so many freshmen and new, and new people to, to get confidence to get off to a strong mm -hmm. start like you did? The plane ride home was quiet. <laughs> Actually, they were tired. Um, but the last day, us falling behind early and to me, anytime you're in a tournament, I think of I mean, every game is going to be difficult, but it's that final game that to me is always going to be your hardest because fatigue is set in a little bit. You know, there's a lot of different factors. And I, I was curious to see how they were going to handle our final game and uh, dropping early in the game. And then from there, making a push. Love what they did in that fifth inning. I just, the comeback, I loved seeing the comeback and their fight their effort those are the things that I care about and the fact that every time we step out on the field they've learned something and they're able to take it into the into the next game any update in the Tara progress and her waiver process no no update is it, this is with the NCAA at this point I mean this I mean clearly Arizona State could change their mind but barring a miracle there this is an NCAA waiver that you're seeking at this point um no actually it's with Arizona State it still is <laughs> yeah do you given their situation with an athlete that they had come in and get a waiver, do you view their stance on this as a bit hypocritical? I mean, a lot of people can look at that and say it worked for them and they didn't seem to have a problem, but the minute they have a player leave, they're making things difficult. That, that's, that's for them. I'm not going to speak for them. I, if we have the opportunity to have Tara, obviously we can use her. If not, then, and we have to wait, then that's what we have to do. I just have to trust in the process and, and whatever comes of it, comes of it. Did you have a chance to talk to Trisha at all when you were down there this past weekend? Huh, no. Were you surprised at all you averaged, I don't know what it was, almost 10 runs a game or more? Uh, was that a little bit of a surprise? Um, I mean, I've watched them this fall and I've watched them this spring, and that's one thing that I've been saying all along is I know this team can hit and we're pretty explosive. Um, so I, I, I felt like we were going to score runs. How many? I didn't know, but I felt like we were going to score some runs. How do you like you practicing when you're, uh, when, on rainy days when you have to get indoors? What's it been like practicing? Here? It's great to have the opportunity on a rainy day to come in the mow and be able to handle our offense, defense, really do whatever we'd want to do out on the field. Um, allows us to not have to adjust practice or maybe not be able to do certain things because we're indoors. So having the resources here on campus are phenomenal. How did you feel uh, Haley took question. command of the outfield this weekend? Yeah, I thought Haley did a great job with the outfield. I thought Haley, just her command that she had with our entire team, I thought she was a great leader. Um, when I look at back at this weekend, I don't look at one person and go, oh, she led the team. I look at all of them, and I look at different moments in the weekend and that they all had opportunities to lead, which I like. I think it's important for us as a team that we have emerging leaders and that everybody understands that there's going to be a, a moment where they need to take on the leadership and and to trust that they can do it and that we believe in them to do it as well. Thanks, Coach. Right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.